Hello and welcome back. Welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries. Welcome back to the South Bend lathe in the other shed. And this is a completely parallel boring bar that I went to Matt of Matt Shed. Matt, who cuts the excellent splines for us, um, who's got a really great Austin 8 project. So I ought to perhaps do a bit of a feature on that at some point. Um, and just borrowed this off Matt. So it's it's a one inch parallel. that's ever so slightly thick in the middle. So I've put that onto the South Bend lathe. I've adjusted these screws here so that everything is completely centered. And now when we move the saddle across, that dial does not move there's a slight maybe half a thou increase in size towards the center and that might be because I was just holding this in my hand or holding it in the um, right in the middle while I was walking the dogs to, to fetch it on a, uh, a lovely day for a change in England and um, so that South Bend now is absolutely completely true, which is great. One thing I will point out that wasn't in the other video, and this is just for, for the benefit of anyone else who's doing something similar with a lathe, the um, tailstock, you wind this handle here and it comes out because you use it for drilling. That's where the center is on a Moore's taper. This locks the shaft. So when this is nipped up, it locks this here. And if it's not nipped up, it makes quite a difference on the reading of that uh, gauge. So what I've done is I've made sure that it's nipped up so it's tight. I guess when it's nipped up it just pinches that um, sliding bit and there's no movement there at all. Um, so if, if you are doing this exercise on a lathe and you've got access to um, a, a boring bar, it's important to make sure that you nip this up when you do it. So what I'm going to do before before I turn the, the gear shaft with a test trial pass and mic that up, I'm just going to do exactly the same thing on my Myford lathe next door because while I've got this boring bar and this clock and I'm in the mood for doing it, I might as well get everything just perfect. So I'm going to do that now and um, I'll update later in the day. As usual, thank you for watching. More updates will follow.